Hello and welcome back. You're here for the film reviews, obviously. But before that, I have a very important message. Yes, on Tuesday the 16th of April at 7pm, I am giving a reading of my new collection of short fiction, The Body in the Mobile Library and Other Stories, at Waterstones Bookstore in Crouch End, North London. Please come along, the link is given below. Dev Patel brings the gonzo chaos for Monkey Man, his very impressive writing-directing feature debut, co-produced by Jordan Peele, a wildly over-the-top violent revenge action thriller on the teeming but unclichéd streets of Mumbai, doubling as a boisterous satire of Modi-esque nationalism. Do you remember me? Do you even know my mother's name? Patel plays a guy calling himself Bobby, a fake name taken ominously from a brand of bleach. As a kid, he lived in the forest with his adored single mum, who held him spellbound with tales of Lord Hanuman, the fabled monkey deity. A greedy property developer, passing himself off as a spiritual guru and now in league with a populist right politician, wanted this forest and brought tragedy into the kid's life with the help of a hateful, corrupt police chief, played by Sikander Kerr. Now Bobby is driven by a need for payback, infiltrating the criminal organisation, biding his time, and earning cash on the side as a monkey-masked fighter at bare-knuckle bouts run by a leering master of ceremonies played by Shalto Copley. He is dreaming of the time when he will rain down a terrible vengeance. Dev Patel clearly thinks that his movie looks a bit like John Wick, hence a rather self-conscious, preemptive line about that well-known Keanu Reeves franchise in the script, but that's not precisely the resemblance. Given Patel's need to avenge a dead parent, his personal growth wilderness experiences at the hands of socially marginalised but wise people, and then his bloody and ultra-violent attack in the neon-lit Asian city, Monkey Man looks more like Nicholas Winding Refn's Only God Forgives, crossed with The Lion King. And Dev Patel turns it into a very stylish movie. His previous acting work didn't obviously point to a kick-ass action career, although his performance in The Green Knight might have given us a hint. He's evolved. That's it. Please remember to come to my reading of The Body in the Mobile Library. You can also pre-order direct from the publisher at 30% off. Great value. Please give this vlog a like and a share, and please subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time.